Hello Capricorn Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, views, and comments. I appreciate each and every one of them. And you. So if you like the way I read, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment if you feel like it connects to you in some way. That would be awesome. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I guess when you click the bell, it notifies you every time I upload videos. And I'll tell you, I upload videos between um, Sunday and Wednesday, I believe, are my regular videos. And that's at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Alright, so let's get started for you. The first one is Wish. Beautiful. So I'm going to put them up there and then I'll read what the book says. But Wish says, obviously, you're going to be getting a Wish. That is your first card. Very powerful. And there's a bunch of um, red little Chinese balloons on there, lanterns I guess you could call them, and they have gold tips on them, very beautiful. And the next one is Trust, 29. So the first one was 26, 29. I always say you can self-teach yourself about numbers and take little notes during my readings and then Google the numbers, the spiritual meaning of the numbers later on. So if you add 29, it would be 11, which is a master number. It's the same number um, doubled. So trust to me talks about somebody mistrustful. It's so weird that the trust card comes up and it means mistrust. And the next one is family. So I'm going to um, read from the book what those mean. So you basically have an idea right now of what those may mean to you so let's see if we can add to it wish trust and family so 26 this is a majorly optimistic period so make the most of this time and act accordingly unexpected surprises and gifts will come your way and you will be able to place foundations down for the rest of the year happiness is close by you will soon be galloping to small victories around career and increased finances through inheritances, a win on lotto, or game of chance. Even a little gambling on resources could be extra lucky now. It is important to declutter your emails, office, and phone to help activate the power of the card. Magnificent times ahead if you are willing to put in the effort and believe in yourself. A magnificent time is ahead. Have you been daydreaming about marriage? Perhaps having a baby or becoming a grandparent? Or even just meeting a new lover? Your dreams can come true now. Beautiful. So, 29. Uh, it says, this card indicates caution against robbery, faults, or evil people, especially smiling assassins. Take care to lock up your personal possessions and be cautious when walking alone in dark or unsafe places. Losses could occur due to trusting the wrong person. Keep your plans to yourself as jealous people are out in full force and you need not be gullible as you have been before. It is also important that you act with integrity and an honest approach for a long-lasting financial success. Don't be fooled by anyone offering you a get-rich-quick scheme as it will not pan out. Affairs of the heart may be stormy as you need to communicate to get your feelings out in the open. Emotional turmoil and hardships are possible. However, a positive approach in dealing with problems will see a happier and brighter time. Someone may be trying to take something of great value from you, so be vigilant. Wow, that's not good. And so, in 11, be, be, yeah, because the numbers add up to 11... This is your warning, but I feel like you're already ahead of whatever that is. So you're going to come out on top because you're protected by your ancestors and your angels is what I feel. So the next one I'm going to read real fast is 15. Family. This symbol tells of great fortune and success around yourself or immediate family. It's a good omen for pregnancy and fertility, particularly if healthcare professionals have been consulted. Overall, this symbol brings emotional fulfillment in a more positive environment where family can grow professionally and spiritually. A new home could be on the agenda for a wonderful family travel experience. 
Finances may be tough with many obstacles to overcome and some decisions made for the family haven't worked out for the best. But a positive Chinese fortune star is about to come your way and you will sweep through your career and family sector. Family businesses will see unity and good luck, but success won't be handed to you on golden plate. You will have to work harder than ever to obtain your goals, but you will get there. The birth of a child or the beginning of a small business could be possible in the distant future. Really beautiful. All right, so let's move on to the Divine Oracle cards. So are the, the two cards on the ends talk about very good things to you, especially even or if you have a family or you don't, um, that can indicate a business, as it said. It doesn't have to indicate baby because a lot of you are into having babies or can't have babies. There's a lot of issues around that. So I always get, I don't know, questionable when that card comes up, but it clarified and it balanced itself out for me, so I like that. So the first one that comes out here is observation. So I'm going to read this too. This is the Peregrine Falcon. Very powerful. Um, this makes me think of past life Egyptian. I feel like you're going to get an, some, a message about your wish. And it's a past, some connection to a past life concerning this wish. So I don't know if some of you are dreaming to go see the pyramids. Um... I do see the Egyptian lady on there in gold. And I got gold in the other one, didn't I? Yeah, the balloons or the lanterns. All right, so let's move on. And strategy. So strategy is very beautiful to me. This talks about planning, organizing, and staying one step ahead of everybody else who's doing whatever they do. This is you. Just having, like, the red umbrella reminds me of that company. I can't even remember that maybe that was what they were called. Who They were an insurance company, and I don't know anything about them, and I'm not plugging them. But this reminds me of this, and it's like some sort of security. So I do feel like you are strategizing and observing to be able to accomplish security for yourself and somebody else or your family, even if your family is, like, four-pod family, you know, pets. Um, and the next one for you is cycles, hair, number 31, which would be four if you add those numbers. So hair talks about cycles. And hair meaning rabbit hair, not hair hair, because she does have pretty hair. She reminds me of Rapunzel. So this talks about somebody is going through a cycle. And the cycle is very... The cycle is very... What's the word I'm getting? How do I explain it? very something about this cycle is very pure I mean the bunnies are white her dress is white she's holding a bouquet of white flowers there's a white bunny on her head which would be her crown chakra to me and her base so I feel like somebody's foundation is very very spiritual based all right let me find the book so we have 25 I was going to read this was gosh I can barely see it three and then this was a 31. So you have two threes there. So 25 says, Take a step back and simply observe a situation. Listen and watch before you decide on a course of action as acting rashly will not serve you in your current situation. You are being supported by powerful forces. Do not fear you are protected. Very beautiful for that one. And the next one was three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three is here somewhere. Okay. Work through a strategy to get what you want. This is a time of transformation, so do not hide what you really are. Be a part of nature, not apart from nature. Be patient. Your opportunity will come. So both those cards are very um, supportive of whatever's going on with you. Very telling you to have patience. So that it was 31, the other one. So let me find that. Not even close. Oh, I am close. Follow the cycles of nature. So you've had two cards that mention nature. The last two. These two are talking about nature in some way. Follow the cycles of nature and you will be rarely disappointed as energy travels in cycles. 
Seek balance. There is time and season for everything. Plants cannot blossom all the time, so be patient. So this reminds me of like the moon cycle as well. It does. All right, so let me move on to the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. You have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So to me, that this little symbol right here talks about how complicated and intricate relationships can be. And the more complicated and intricate or structured we want in our relationships, that's the way they will be. So maybe you're observing some sort of relationship right now, and you're strategizing, and you're going through a cycle to see, I feel, how something, for lack of a better word, plays out from somebody else. You're watching somebody else. So denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So this talks about denial in a relationship, but you're strategizing a cycle and you're observing. So who is in denial of a relationship? Oh, we had the distrust up here, didn't we? Yes, there we go. So you're aware of this distrustful person. You're strategizing right here, and they're in denial. They don't realize that you're smart enough to be a cycle ahead of them, maybe two cycles. So wow, wow, wow. So I'm confused as to... It's some sort of relationship, obviously, that first card. So loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So something about this person maybe makes you feel alone, but you understand that you have protection around you, angels and guides. I mean, look at all the buddies right here. You understand that you are protected. And, you know, some people will try and use loneliness to keep people stuck or hang on to them. Like, I've had, you know, people mention to me the opposite sex, uh, masculine, you know, aren't you afraid of being alone and stuff. So people will use that to try and get somebody thinking about that, you know, and maybe you weren't thinking about it before, but somebody put it in your head, like, oh, aren't you afraid of being alone? Aren't you afraid you're going to be alone forever or something like that. So look at this Merlin, beautiful. So this is magician. To me this is you manifesting, but it could be that this person up here, it could be their magic or their, not really their magic, their manipulation. And you're seeing them, you and your dragon see this distrust up there. And they're just in you now that you're as smart as you are is what I keep picking up. This person who you can't trust doesn't think you're figuring them out. So there's something around home, too. So this situation is around the home situation, and you're taking, you're taking a stand, is what I feel. This person doesn't think you're going to do something, and you've strategized for something. Divine order. Beautiful. So strategy and divine order, cycles, relationship, denial, um somebody trying to manifest or doing untrustworthy things to you and maybe around your home you could live with this person but everything happens in divine order is what I feel. I'm going to pull one more just to see what comes up you guys. Nutrition. So I'm going to pull another one. So nutrition talks about being healthy. And because it's green and this one's green, I feel like it's something around your heart. So I feel like this untrustworthy person is messing with your love, your heart in some way. They're trying to make you lonely. They're trying to break you down, I feel, and make you think that you can't ever find somebody else. They're trying to keep you in a denial. I'm going to pull another one. Prayer. Wow. So this is very powerful. This says with prayer, you're going to heal. So pray, whatever you that may mean to you, or whoever your higher power is that you pray to, this would help. You have heal your thoughts, your heart chakra, don't let negativity come towards you. You're vibrating good. Just keep your vibrating at a love level, even though um, you have this distrustful person, and just keep praying. And then silence. This is beautiful too. So this tells me that you are being silent about something. You are ahead of this person. With that red umbrella up there, you're protected. The pedigree falcon, 
Oh my goodness gracious. You have planned accordingly and you are protected from whatever this distrust is coming at you, Aquarius Capricorn. So let's finish by pulling the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards to feeling. So whatever this is, it has you feeling like suffocated. It has you feeling alert, like you have to really pay attention to what's going on around you. I feel like your third eye is very open. Your crown chakra is open. We had the bunny up there. Um, yeah, this, these two to me talk about your third eye chakra being open. And you're feeling a lot. So the next one is grooming number eight. So this is infinity to me, the number eight. And that little kitten is some sort of purity thought that you are thinking of how to get yourself free. You see the little ladybug on the leaf in her hair. And I do feel like her eye is closed too. So there's something being... Um, how do I say this? Something is being sent your way for to guide you away from whatever's going on here. So there's something that's going to start out little, but it's going to groom you to um, something better coming towards you. Sleeping. So sleeping talks about 15, 14 if you cheat, add the numbers, it would be 5. So, is this wish up here? Am I off? This was wish. So these acorns right here to me are wish also. His earrings that are acorns match this. So you have three wish cards in here. This is very highly protected. I mean, look at this set of horns and antlers. The kitten is so comfortable sleeping there that it's like you're protected. You are so protected and you have new beginnings coming towards you, but somebody doesn't want that for you. So there's somebody untrustful around you. Um, I feel like all these trees in the back are kind of like your ancestors. And this is, this is like your guides. And you are really protected. You really, really are. I always say, too, when we're sleeping, we get um, downloads. We get messages because we're sleeping. So I suggest everyone have a dream journal, just a notebook by your bed, and write down the time you wake up because I'm big on numbers. I usually break them down to um, add them up. And then write down what's in your head. Do it every time you wake up, go back to sleep, do it first thing in the morning, and you'll be amazed at what you're, you have a whole other life in your head when you're dreaming. So anyway, let's go on. Then the next one is six rolling. So this is a love boundary card to me. This talks about, where do we see it? Was it here? It was here. So I, this, I don't know what my connection is. I'm so weird sometimes, but anyway. So we see the white rabbits here, we see the white on her head, and the white here. Here we see white, and we see the red at the feet, and the red at the head. This is love and boundaries. This is like purity, a cycle changing, um, your crown chakra being open. I feel like there's a card here that talks about this one is your third eye chakra being open, I feel, right here. Your third eye chakra, because there's one eye on the cat, or barely, there is barely two, but one and then two human eyes. So to me, that is crown eye chakra. So you have a lot of protection here. Something is changing, and you kind of understand it, it appears, and you're even on the down low about it. So that was really heavy at first. I usually don't pull that many cards, but that was, like, intriguing. So... Take note, if I was another reader, I would have stopped at back before and told you to pay and go to another site to see how that reading ended, and I've never done that. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Bless you.